we're going to talk about in a second because uh, I'm we're going to talk about this. Hi. Hi. Uh-huh. What is this? What is this sporty spice I'm giving you? Can everybody hear me? Make sure everybody can hear me. I don't know what this is. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hi. Hello, my little lambs. How's everybody doing today? I am just going through it. <laughs> this hair is like, it's it's killing me right now. What is this like cockatoo thing? I don't, what is this? <laughs> Hi. Um, you know, I haven't like dyed my hair in a minute. Um, but I, I think it's, uh, I did use a uh, purple shampoo. So maybe that's what it is. Maybe that's not all bullshit. But yeah, I mean, I plan on just going so blonde that my hair falls out. <laughs> and then I just have like a giant, just a giant baby head. I mean, I do have a good head shape though. So I think I could pull it off. Anyway. Oh, thank you, Nicole. I feel good. <laughs> I feel good. <laughs> that your hair looks like that. That makes me happy. Oh my God, 10 degrees, Jen. I'm so sorry. That's awful. Oh, do you like my little pink background? It's so fun in here. It's very festive. Okay. I know the hair. I know, dude. I just the hair. Okay. So let's um, hold on. I just need to. Wow. What? Wow. I like how it's like curved now. I feel like a fucking cartoon character, right? <laughs> Let me just make sure that we're good. Check the back end here on the YouTube's probably. Yep, already demonetized. <laughs> Why? I didn't I didn't even do anything. I didn't even say fuck. I didn't even say fuck. That is just the shittiest thing under review. Okay. All right, so we're under review. All right. So from now on until it gets cleared, if it gets cleared, um, if there are ads, not my doing. Okay. Not my doing, not my doing. <laughs> huh. I think, yeah. Thank you. Marco, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't, I don't want to joke about my hair breaking off like that. I don't want that. <laughs> hi. Oh, I was like, hi. You want to say hello to everybody? No. I'm just kidding. Hello. Hi. I need your mouse for a second. Oh, what did I have? Nothing. Oh no, you gotta do it from. Hold on. I have to do it in, right? Yeah, you gotta do it in. We're gonna double it. Hold on. Double the pleasure. Double the fun. What we got? Let's talk for a second. Actually, no, hold on. Wait, my bad. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I swear to God, after this, I'm a, a fucking professional, okay? Right now, I just need to post this on Instagram and then we're good. In the meantime, feel free to talk amongst yourselves. But I think, I think, I think, I think. Do I have music? Does, does everybody hear music or anything? Because I feel like there should be some music in the background. Please let me know if you hear music. Yes. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay. Thank you, Hannah. Yes, it's very lo-fi because that's the kind of mood we're going for today. We're going, because we're going to have like a nice unpacking stream. We're going to play some unpacking. You're going to yell at me and tell me what the fuck I'm doing wrong, <laughs> that things should go here and all that stuff. And we're going to have like a really good time. But I need to, hold oh, please. Uh, talk amongst yourselves. 
I can't, I get easily distracted. <laughs> I'm such a little butt fuck. A butt fuck, that's fun. Anyway, but I do want to go on a rant for like two minutes after I'm done doing this. No, shut up. Okay, no, we're doing this. Yeah, doing this. <laughs> oh, the music's fun. I like that. Okay. It's not too loud. Okay, that's good. So, last thing I swears to you. This. 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 Link, 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 link. <sighs> Watch now, bitch. LOL, JK. Love you. But seriously, watch me, please. I am lonely. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it works, right? Yeah, that, that, that's guilting people into to watching me. Okay, anyway. Um, okay, so. Okay. Okay. You fucking motherfucker. Oh. oh, please. Does this upload? Please send me. Yay. Okay. All right. Perfect. Okay. Putting my phone down. You have my attention. Okay. Can we talk about this product for a second? Day. Does anybody know what this product is? This is the Fairy Duster Dry Shampoo. Does, there, does anybody have that product? Does anybody know what that product is? Whack moment, we are professional. <laughs> I'm actually, you know what? I'm gonna say that tomorrow I have a meeting and I'm gonna see, I'm gonna say that to somebody and see if they like spit their coffee out while we're all in this giant fucking group meeting, which should be fun. Can we do here? Can you please mute yourself? If, if you're eating, can you please mute yourself? <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Okay. So I, let me tell you something. I bought some stuff at, at Sephora. And this was one of the things I bought, okay? This is probably one of the worst fucking things I've ever tried at all, period. This should be like <sighs> catapulted into the fucking sun and then shot at. Like <laughs> it is the worst, the worst dry shampoo I have ever had in my life. Okay, my hair... It, my, I think my hair looks okay. The texture is that of, oh, just think of the most unpleasant, hard, Brillo fucking pad kind of a texture, like just really just rough and coarse. That's like your whole hair. Plus, plus, okay, it comes out like this. Oh, I got right into my fucking drink. <laughs> ah! I deserve that. I deserve Alex. Can I get a fresh drink? I squirted this in my drink like an asshole. Yes. It's all over my keyboard. Right. I don't know. I can I bring a full beverage? Bye. Okay. <laughs> okay. First of all, you know what it smells like? It smells like my fucking, okay. If you were born in the eighties, maybe the nineties, not eighties, there were these cupcake dolls and I've talked about them before. I know I have. Um, and they were like little dolls and you flip them up and they turn into cupcakes. Fucking Google it. Okay. It's a fucking thing. Little flipped cupcake dolls. And they had this very toxic, sweet chemical smell. That's what that smells like. So it transported me back like to the fucking literally 1989, like in 1990. And I was like, oh my God, like just literally just remembering how horrible fucking Queens was as a child. But then I let the shit go in my hair. First of all, it all pull like pulls like right in like the spots where you put it. It doesn't like gingerly disperse. <sighs> when I tell you the excess white was all around here as if, I was like fucking turning into stone. Thank you. 
drank the other one, and now my throat burns. No. I'm kidding, I didn't drink it. <laughs> no! <laughs> You're gonna die! Uh, I don't think you can adjust this. I, Smell it. I don't wanna. Smell it. Smells fake sweet. Also, don't don't spray it. Yeah, but we don't spray it to your drink. <laughs> Yeah. It smells fucked up. <coughs> no, it smells great. <coughs> I hate oh, it. Man. I hate it so much. I'm out of here. Okay, love you. Oh, buddy. it's all over the mic stand. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> yeah, it's like all, you see that? That's it. That's not dust. I'm not disgusting. That is just literally. Great. <laughs> <coughs> okay. <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, no, it's the fucking worst thing. So it literally pulls all around like the fucking, you're just like, it frames your face, but it just turns you white and stone-like. And then as you start to brush it, your brush kind of gets stuck in your fucking hair. I should have took a fucking picture because as I was brushing my hair, it got stuck. And I was like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Okay, like stuck, stuck. I had to like rip it out of my fucking, I had to rip it out. I had to rip my hair out of my fucking brush. It was really, really annoying. And then I started to kind of brush it out even more because I was like, I need to get this fucking out. It's impossible. So then I tried to like take a towel and just start to like fucking just, I don't know. I don't know what I was doing. I was just trying to like get it out of my hair. And of course I do this knowing that I have to do this fucking stream. So I was like, I don't have time to go like dump my head into like, uh, I don't know, even just so fucking wash my hair at this point. So I have to commit to it. So that's why it's like kind of like doing its own fucking weird thing. It, the texture is so bad. You know what I look like? I look like a fucking troll doll. <laughs> Put a little gemstone in my belly. I'm a troll doll. Anyway, I fucking can't. I just can't. If you were to ever see this in Sephora, do yourself a favor and just take it and just throw it. Just just throw it. The employees will love you for it, okay? Because nobody should have this product. This company is horrible. Watch, I actually get sponsored by them. I'm like, this is so good, I love it. No, seriously, it's the worst fucking dry shampoo I have ever used. And also it's kind of giving like weird feminine itch vibe. I really do not like the logo. I don't like this whole kind of packaging. This feels very summer's eve douche, not into it. So fuck that, fuck that shit. Don't even fucking bother. I don't even know why. I think it just interests me because it's like, ooh, a powder and the fact that it was supposed to be volumizing. No, I guess it is volumizing technically, right? Cause it's like doing whatever the fuck this is, but I don't want that. I just want normal hair. So yeah, fuck that. Anyway, hi. <laughs> Barbie, I love you too, thank you. Right, May, thank you. It looks like those no wash feminine sprays. It feels like my vagina just now like a sickly, sweet fucking cough drop. Like, I don't, you know, I don't want it. I don't want to smell like fucking ocean rain. Okay. Why do seagulls keep following me? Like, I don't, I don't want it. No, no, no. What's a good one? Any other one. <laughs> Amika. Amika is really good. Way is really good. Even the fucking um, B Baptista or whatever, Baptiste, those are good. They do have a little bit of a buildup, but at the fucking drugstore, they're great. You can fucking get away with it. All right. So anyway. Yeah, Baptiste. Baptiste. I like the hair oil, but the component was terrible. I also like the conditioning treatment, but now Sephora doesn't carry it anymore. Charles. Listen, this, I, I can't, I can't like another fucking product. From, like there's no way I could ever try another product. I just can't. <laughs> I refuse. <laughs> so I'm going to actually bury this in the earth. We're going to see what happens. <laughs> I have never tried Oribe. I feel like that's just too rich for me. And every time I've got it in a, uh, not a boxy charm. Oh God. Uh, Beautylish box. I feel like I've given it to a friend because I'm like, I don't fucking understand what this is. And all my friends are like, really? Huh? And they, they love it. They fucking love hair care shit. I am like, I don't even know, a beginner, I guess. Does that even make sense? I'm a beginner when it comes to hair care stuff. I don't really know too much. So living proof. I did like living proof. I did like living proof. Under the floorboards it goes, absolutely. <laughs> I'm gonna try Oribe, Orbe, Orbeez, Orbeez? No, Orbeez are those fucking things that you put water in, right? 
Yeah. My classist little swine over here. Like, Webby's? No. Anyway. Don't you mind you the dry shampoo, Chelsea. Now I'm gonna now I'm gonna do it even more. <laughs> Could you mind you the fucking dry shampoo? I feel like if I actually use Aquanet, my hair is gonna break. I don't think I'm ready for Aquanet. Like I wanna be an Aquanet person, but I don't, I don't think I'm ready for it. Like you need like that's that's some you need to have hair. I feel like <laughs> I feel like my hair is like witch brittle at best. <sighs> anyway, also yeah, Olaplex. I I thought that's supposed to like is that is Olaplex the one? Which is the one that like makes people bald? Is it when allegedly, allegedly? <laughs> I think you say allegedly. Is it that one? First of all, rave. My mom loves rave. I had to like go find a specific fucking when she can when she comes and visits. I had to find a specific hairspray. And I think it was a rave. Or is it suave? Or is it both? I forget. Allegedly. When? Okay, it's when. Okay, okay, okay. Allegedly. Okay, thank you. Yeah, no, I I thought um, you lose your hair. I always confuse that with Olaplex because I heard Olaplex, you also lose your hair, but maybe I'm thinking of when. So. Oh, the class. Oh, okay. 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 The class action lawsuit was bullshit. Okay. 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 All right. Oh my God. First of all, white rain. <laughs> VO5 baby. All right. Growing up in nine, growing up in Queens, we were a white rain house. We were. <laughs> A suave or uh, no more tangles or no more tears or whatever the fuck it was called. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Alex is sitting on the couch, probably drinking my infected iced tea. So, oh, here he is. Whew. Oh my God, herbal essences. Yes. I always wanted to be an herbal essences person. We didn't, we never had herbal essences until I purchased it, like as an adult. Didn't really get the hype. <laughs> Didn't really get the hype. Hey, Eve. How you doing? Anyway, so, um, G by your hair smells great. <laughs> no. <laughs> I can only use scent free products. Bok Bok, you are, you're not, you're not missing anything. <laughs> Oh, OGX had also a lawsuit too. A lot of things just, I guess, makes people bald. I don't know. But I, I'm here to tell you, don't fuck with this. Don't fuck with this. Don't fuck with this. This is all bullshit. This is like the worst powdery garbage. And I will not spray it again. So it goes into my drink. So <laughs> we're going to put that on the side. And uh, yeah, I was initially just going to come in just like, oh, we're going to play unpacking, which we're going to do. But um, I was like, you know what? I'm mad. <laughs> I'm mad. Okay. I'm mad. Anyway. Um, oh, Eve, I'm so sorry. Sending love to your doggy. Hmm. Sorry. Hmm. Poor pup. Poor pup. Hey, Diva. Hmm. All right, my babes. Okay. So let me, let me, let me, which is the one I want to do. Yay! Everybody see the screen? I feel like I'm in work. Does everybody see my screen? Okay. <laughs> Last time on unpacking, I was, I think I was cleaning up the kitchen, right? Is that what I was doing? Yes, yeah, so we moved here, right? I don't remember what the fuck we did. <laughs> Paul, thank you. I'm still mad at the Natasha Denona palette. Also, someone mentioned that you shouldn't um, set, or no, no, you shouldn't put the bronzer down first and then use the eyeshadow. So today I tried it. Yeah. Not to, was it today? No, it was today. It was today. Yeah. Yeah. I took, I wound up actually taking my eyeshadow off because my eyeshadow looked busted the fuck up. And now it's like around one o'clock. 
The sparkly shade is the only shade that's actually like worth checking out. Everything else is kind of like fucking hot garbage. So what I have on my eyes is actually just concealer. <laughs> so like when my makeup looks extra crunchy, it's because of that. <laughs> Chelsea, no, we are not doing the room. Um, we are like legitimately unpacking, unpacking. <laughs> I'm so sorry to be disappointing y'all. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, it's just this shit. I'm literally just unpacking. <laughs> I'm just unpacking. I just wanted to have like a fucking normal, like chill little stream because work has been uh just insane lately as per usual and i just wanted to like just unpack and just chit chat and stuff like that and also you know just feel free to yell at me if i'm not putting things in the correct order you know the usual but <laughs> oh shit yeah i i honestly um, thought the Natasha Denona thing, I had, I don't know. I just like, I had higher hopes for it. I thought it was going to be really fucking good. And, and it's like, I don't, what, I don't know what they're doing. I don't know, man. I want to, I want to really like it, but it's just not it. But listen, fucking, I'll give him credit though, because it's not like Pat McGrath where, that is literally fucking bullshit. You know what I mean? <laughs> First of all, okay. I love putting my dishes on the ground and I like putting it next to the bug spray. Okay. <laughs> I love doing that. I feel like we need to put the bug spray in jar. Dar. Um, I'm behind on Vanderpump rules. So I got to watch that. Oh yeah, we still don't know what's going on with Shroud. I actually texted um, Betty Jean. <laughs> I texted Betty Jean that was just like, hey, like, do you know what's going on? Because people in my chat were like, that you said that, you know, you don't know. And she said like, yeah, I don't know. Like she hasn't responded to me in months. And I was like, oh, I hope she's okay. So who knows? We do not know what is happening. Um, she is MIA. And, uh, I, yeah. So does, did anybody here buy anything from Shroud? Oh, you got your, okay. So Hannah, you got your refund, you got your refund, but PayPal had to do it because she didn't respond to PayPal. Damn. Okay. Okay. Listen. Okay. Okay. All right. So she's not ghosting. Oh, so you know what? Something must have happened then. Because if she, if not even answering fucking, you know, PayPal, then something must have happened. So hopefully, hopefully everything's okay. But if we don't have any updates, then we really need to, I need to get my, uh, detective hat on which i still need to go buy my plus size costume amber you sweetie you didn't have to do that i love you thank you you're a, an adorable sweetie come back here next time and i'll show you a good time all right <laughs> whatever you want that to mean okay i'm flexible i lost a little weight i'm flexible now not that flexible i can't really say that we'll figure it out amber <laughs> Oh my God. Oh, we're talking about Shroud Cosmetics. They, uh, they, they are nowhere to be found, basically. Oh my God, there's so many books. Jesus Christ. But yeah, so I, don't know. I just want, all right, this is what I want to do. I just want to like fucking get everything out of these goddamn boxes because it's like irritating the shit out of me. Uh, I think I should put this over here and put this over here because otherwise it's just not going to be able to work. Um, 
See, May, that's how I feel. Because I feel like if something like truly kind of bad, I don't know. I don't want to say like truly bad something because like, we don't know, like actually something bad could have happened. Right. But like, I feel like nowadays there are at least some sort of a presence, right? Like someone would be like, Oh, Hey, this is, you know, I think about like, for example, like here for the tea. Right. Or, um, even for like Mel Thompson, you know what I mean? Like there was, um, for Mel, it was her husband. And I believe for here's for the tea, it was her sister that, King or whatever, just use their social media was like, oh, hey, just like letting everybody know, like passed away. Um, so I'm kind of surprised that didn't happen. But I mean, I don't know. We, like, I hope nothing bad happens, clearly, right? Like, I want to hope that, you know, maybe, maybe sh the person that runs Shroud, they won the fucking lottery and they're like, fuck this shit. Now I can like have a bunch of, you know, beautiful like fucking islands somewhere and they have, you know, polar bear fucking butlers or whatever and they're just living the life that's what i want to believe uh, but we don't know <laughs> so that's that's what i want to hope okay i want to hope that there is a happy ending to this but you know we'll find out or maybe we won't find out that's actually probably the worst part is that we probably won't find out and we're always going to be like wondering like an unsolved mysteries which maybe we should do like an unsolved mysteries for makeup. Actually, that'd be kind of, well, I mean, not the really like traumatic ones of like someone's fucking missing, but maybe we could kind of have fun with it. Like, I don't know, maybe like a product that went missing and we don't even really understand why it went missing. Not necessarily a person, but you know, <laughs> try to make it fun. <laughs> no, okay. Maybe issues with the factory. Fun conspiracy, some other products sold their product. Oh. True. Well, yeah, I feel like too, if, if an actual factory or something like stole the product, they would really say that. Cause I feel like that is something that has happened Maybe not necessarily to Shroud, but like, I feel like I've seen other brands, you know, talk about, oh, indie brands, I should say, I've had shit fucking stolen or something like that. God, so many boxes this bitch has. Jesus Christ. Oh, thank you. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. And thank you for being a part of our family. Still, thank you. I love you. You can sit on my face all day. <laughs> also, I guess I work for Apple, right? Yeah, I think so. Oh, Cal, thank you. I have too many fucking boxes. On the bright side, in my real life, the amount of boxes that I actually have in this house are starting to go down, which is really, really good. So that makes me very happy. So I just ordered a more stationary. Not, oh, what the fuck am I talking about? Stationary. Ooh, what the fuck is that about? Not stationary. What the fuck was I trying to say? I bought um, like another shelf, like a rack or whatever, in hopes that... Um, I don't know. Like I'm going to have like enough fucking storage areas. The problem is like the room is kind of weird. It's like a nice, it's like a perfect square, but like I need more space, but whatever, we'll make it work. We'll figure it out. But, um, I do know I don't need to have, buy any more of her, like acrylic containers ever again. So that's fucking great. Love that. I know. I don't know where the fuck I got stationary from. I have no idea. <laughs> hey, Brian. We love when people sit on our face here. God, this bitch and her shoes and her pants and her skirt and her other Apple wear. Ugh. You know, maybe this wasn't a great idea because now I'm just thinking of like how unpacking really does suck in real, in real life. And I'm like, oh God, it's just giving me anxiety thinking about all the fucking shit that I still have to fucking unpack. Ugh.
Yes. Pal World. Um, Alex showed me what Pal World was, and I thought it was like an adorable Pokemon. We love that. Oh, my piggy. <laughs> oh, I like that. Here's my degree. On the floor you shall go. Actually, can we just like put it under the bed because we're ashamed of it? Yeah, we're ashamed of it. Because we're in student loan debt. <laughs> anyway, too real? Probably. Ooh, my important files. Oh my God, how much fucking clothes do I have? Jesus. Okay. I think, is that it? Ugh. All right, hold on. <laughs> I, I just want to be done unpacking. Like, just can we organize? I want to go back to organizational stuff. That makes me happy. Not this pulling shit out of boxes shit. Nope. You dumb bitch. Okay. <sighs> anyway. Yeah, Pokemon is like, no, I'm sorry. I'm about to say Pokemon is Pal World. <laughs> no, Pal World is Pokemon. And. That it, like, it's, it was really adorable. And I'm actually kind of surprised that they didn't get sued for like how cute it is and shit. Like, and like how legitimately it really looks like fucking Pokemon. But like, good for them though. Put my pot right here. Go back. This is called unpacking. You basically are um, a girl who goes through several stages of her life where, you know, sometimes, well, you first you start off and like her child, like a, her bedroom as a child, and then she starts to go to uni or university. And then she, um, I think we're at the third stage where she is here. And I believe she's sharing her house or she's sharing the apartment with um, someone else. And I think now we're good. Okay. so. Finally, 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 finally. I feel like I fucking taste that chemical shit. Okay, anyway. Anyway. I do love how this tells a story and it, it does a really good job, um, in my opinion, of just being really fucking adorably sweet. Um, and it just makes you want to cry. Cause it's just, it's just so nice and lovely. Um, I don't know what to do with this, but I think it's like an air mattress or like a yoga mattress. Oh, perfect. We're just gonna put that bitch right there. Fine. We'll put our degree up, even though it deserves to be on the floor. What do we get with it? Nothing. Again, too real? Probably. Anywho, it's so fun, this game. I really do love it. I think the game, yes, the game is available on laptops. Um, I'm playing on my PC, so you can, if you download a thing called Steam, or if you go to Steam, like Steam, and you should be able to find it. And this is just a very nice, very relaxing game that doesn't require much. So if you are not, if you are like me, someone that's just not very good at games, but you like playing them, this could be for you. And then you could also, you know, just say horrible shit, um, like, or talk about murder mysteries. <laughs> I, I shouldn't say murder mysteries. We don't really know what happened to the person. <sighs> oh, God. Oh, God. I hope they're okay. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. I don't know. Anyway. But, yeah. We could, we could just, we could do this. This is, this is so much fun. Also, I try to, I like to like get it in the size where it just makes me feel better as a person. Um, yeah. Listen, get this. It's so good. It's so good. It's so, it's so much fun. <clears throat> and I also actually have another game that I'm, I'm going to probably play next time called Power Washer and House Flipper. Uh, I play the fucking stupidest games. I am terrified. Well, I shouldn't say terrified. So Alex is the game person in this house and I am purely just the voyeur. <laughs> I like to watch. Okay? <laughs> I light up a cigarette and I like to watch in a smoky room. 
and I watch my husband play games and I am not very good at games because I have a little thing called anxiety. I don't know if you heard about it, but because I have anxiety, especially if it's like a time thing, oh fucking don't even get me started. I just don't love it, but I love games though. So I need to find things that are like super duper dumb, relaxing. And this is something that is just so nice and so relaxing. And also I love organizing things. I find I, I get joy out of organizing things. It just makes me happy. Also, I don't know what I want to do with that. Oh, Peggle. Oh, actually now I want to fucking play Peggle. <gasps> Maybe we should play Peggle. Should we play Peggle? I haven't played Peggle in a minute. Peggle is a lot of fun. Does anyone know what Peggle is? Oh, that, we're going to do that, Eve. We're going to do the uh, stream of um, me and Alex uh, doing fucking, oh, what the hell is it? Um, American Trucker or whatever. And we also have European Trucker. So that should be really interesting. So we have that. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Peggle's so good. Aha, my little bus. First of all, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely, Mr. Unicorn. Um, power washer is definitely what you do before you power bottom. Uh-huh, it's it, f fucking, yes. The proof is literally in the pudding. <laughs> uh, I do love a good power bottom moment. That's fun. Good times. <laughs> good times, good times. I don't love putting, oh, I guess we could put her right here. You know what? I feel like this is like classy up here. But then, okay, maybe I could put my chicken right there. No, I don't wanna put my chicken there. Maybe we'll put him here. No, that's too tall, fucker. Okay, we're gonna come back to that. We're gonna come back to this room. <laughs> hey, Audra. We're just talking about power bottom, pot power bottoming over here. Your thoughts? <laughs> oh, fuck. We love a good power bottom. All right, I guess I can't put that here. Can I put that? Uh, no. All right. I guess we're going to put DVDs there. Anyway, so yeah. My husband built an arcade console with all the old eight. What? <gasps> bok Bok. I want to see that. I want to see a picture of that. That sounds fucking cool. Sounds like a good man. And also like just really fun. I would love to fucking do that. So me and Alex always talked about like if we had like money, like fuck you money. It's just like we should just do like all the fun things that we've always wanted to do. Like, yeah, build a fucking arcade. And then let nobody use it except us. <laughs> it's like, you can look, you can't touch, bitch. So that's exciting. You know, I don't know why there's a Sailor Moon outfit. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't ask questions either. I should probably, but I just don't. She is, is she a fashion designer? Because I thought she was um, like a cartoonist more. I think the girl that she lives with is a fashion designer, maybe. What the hell is this? Oh, I could put that there. Is there anything over here? No, I guess we're, I guess we're good there, huh? Yeah, we are good there. All right. Nope, we're good here. Ugh, I don't even want to deal with this fucking closet right now, but we have to. We have no choice. Okay. So, I'm going to put all these little things away. But yeah, I just thought she was like a cartoonist or I never knew her to be a cosplayer. But maybe I'm wrong though. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm wrong. Anyway, how's everybody doing though? 
How's everybody week's going? How are every week's going? I can't even fucking speak English. How is everyone's week going? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. My week is going okay. Okay. There's a big meeting I have to attend tomorrow that I'm really just like not looking forward to because it's going to be like a, a fucking two hour time suck, which sucks. I got to put my camera on too. Does for my people that work at um, remote, do you have to have meetings where they're like kind of for not, I don't want to say force you, but like they force you to turn your camera on though. Do you have anything like that? Reading papers and crying about it. Oh, Miranda, that sounds awful. Heading home from the grocery store, only healthy thing I bought were grapes. <laughs> but at least you bought something, right? <laughs> grapes, Oreos, they're all good. I fucking hate on camera meetings. It's fucking, ugh. it's the worst. Like, why do you need to see my fucking face? Do you think I'm not working? Bitch, I'm working. If anything, you, you're you like, I, if I'm getting underpaid for how much fucking shit that I do. Like, can't I just like roll up looking like a fucking goblin like this? Coughing up a fucking fairy dust or hair or fucking whatever the fuck this shit is. Can I just live my life? God damn it. Anyway. <laughs> Your CEO announced that they were going to be downsizing. Oh, that sucks. I'm so sorry. That's very fucking annoying. Do you feel, um, did they, did the CEO specify like uh, how quick or how soon they're going to do that? So I feel like I've been hearing that a lot lately. Um, a lot of places are like fucking, uh, unfortunately going to be downsizing, which I'm like, how convenient during an election year. All right, sure. <laughs> Whatever you say, Jan. I hate when they add pizzazz to Zoom meetings. Okay, first of all, okay, first of all, does anyone have Microsoft Teams like for their job? Let me see my Microsoft Teams people. Okay, for my Microsoft Teams people, did you know you could do a fucking avatar? There's an avatar. And the avatar, I, <laughs> I like, I, I, I'm gonna take a picture of my avatar tomorrow because like I took way too long on it. Like everybody was just like doing something quick and I like, I made mine have like fucking eyeshadow and shit. It, yeah, you could do an avatar. You could fucking do an avatar. And I made it like how, I made her have like eyeshadow and she had like a, um kind of like my hair color-ish sort, maybe a little bit lighter, but like um kind of like a wavy version of like how I would normally wear my hair. And she has like well, the glasses that are clear. And I was like, wow, like this is fucking like just sick that I'm like literally spending all this time. And I think I gave myself um like the Microsoft like clippy, the little uh, paper clip. <laughs> I think I'm wearing, <laughs> I'm wearing that as a t-shirt. An embarrassing amount of time. And a lot of people were like, oh, this is kind of fun. And I'm like, well, you've never played The Sims before, obviously. And I'm like sitting there quietly, just making mine, trying to look as realistic as possible. And the fat feature, She's not fat. She's just not fat. Like it, it's like a little thick. It's so it's it's fuck. It's awful. Like I'm like give me fat. Like I want a fat avatar. I don't want to even be like get me so fat that like <laughs> just see like my fucking just my little features. Like I want it to be realistic. Stop trying to make me look thin. All right. Anyway, it's really fun. If you have not looked into that feature go look into it. It's like in the camera settings part. Like when you turn your camera on, there's like another little thing underneath it. And it's just like, gives you the option where you could just fuck around with an avatar. And then you could put your avatar in a little virtual simulator, which is like even more fucked up. And I'm like, this is black mirror. This is the future. I don't like it. I don't like it, but I also love it. <laughs> oh my God. If we bring back MSN, MSN messenger or was it ICQ? Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> what is it? Is it ICQ? I think it's ICQ. Um, I have not seen the shark emotes on team. I have not seen that. Fuck. Hold on. Let me see. If, can I, can I, let me see if I could show you my avatar from my phone. I don't think I can. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. They're probably like, what are you doing online? <laughs> like, shut up. Let me see. I want to chat. Can I chat with, let me chat with my self. Yeah, there's no way I could do this without doxing myself. <laughs> We're not doing that. <laughs> We're not doing it. Anyway, just do it if you can. Um, oh, I'm on Citrix. Oh my God, Citrix. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. I know. Next time we're going to play The Sims. I kind of just want to like make a person now. Now that like I just talked about wanting to make a person. Oh, it was so good. Made me so happy. Got to get my jeans out of here. I also got to put my little frisbee over here. Oh, I sound like an old woman. <laughs> Anyways. But yeah, for all my team's people, go check it out. It's fun. It's a hoot. And it definitely killed a, a little part of my day, which, listen... I'm all about. I'm very happy about that. Beyond that, also, um, actually, no. I need. To, I think I need to like hang up proper things. Does anybody? Um, does anybody like sports in here or something? <laughs> Sounds so fucking big, right? Does anybody like sports? I ask because at my job they're going to be doing some fucking March Madness bullshit or whatever, and I just feel like you know. All right. Like, I, I don't know shit about sports or anything like that. So, I mean, I'm just doing it because my coworkers are like, it's so much fun brackets. I don't know. Um, so if anybody actually knows anything, uh, let me know because I'm probably, I think there might be money involved. If someone gives me good tips, I will split whatever money it is with you. Okay. Straight up, straight up. I don't know if I actually, let me take that back. I'm, 70% sure there's money involved, but if there isn't though, and I do win, you know what? <clears throat> if there's no money involved and I do win, I will buy somebody a gift card of their choosing, like a, like a $25 gift card of their choosing or $50, $25 gift card. Of their <laughs> Let's not get crazy here. Okay. But, um, I'm going to find out though. And if somebody knows sports, you let me know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, win a ream of copy paper. <laughs> I can get you a shitload of toner. Do you want some toner? <laughs> I will send you a whole ream of paper. How about how about that? I could do that. Teresa's dead gambling scam. Oh my god, stop. <laughs> Yes. I think this is the same as insider trade. Well, I mean, Sarah, when you say it like that, you make it sound like insider trading is bad. <laughs> but listen, help me, help you, help me, help me help you. You know what I mean? You give me some good tips. I'll take care of you. And you want me to take care of you, right? I want to take care of you. <laughs> so if you know some tips, let a bitch know. I'm curious. Just saying. <laughs> oh, I'm going to hell. <laughs> Paul, no, I don't remember that episode where, where of Simpsons where Lisa gets a gift card to JCPenney. But now I like am sad. <laughs> I'm sad that I don't know the reference. Because I know a lot of Simpsons references. <laughs> insider trading people go to the nicest prisons jenny thank you <laughs> i don't think i do well in like i think i do okay in like prison light <laughs> inside trading prison i think i'd be okay I, I, I think i'd be all right i don't want to go to prison 
<laughs> Let's try not to make me go to prison um, for this uh, racket that I'm trying to do. <laughs> oh my God. That'd be so fun. <laughs> I mean, not the prison part. The prison part sounds awful. Yeah, no, I, I like I like stuff too much. I don't want to go to jail. I don't want to go to jail. No, look at me. I'm, no, I'm, no, I can't go to jail. <laughs> What the fuck am I even saying? <laughs> Get ready with me in my prison cell as I do my fucking insider trading. Because all I wanted to do was like win <laughs> a fucking thing that I don't even give a shit about. <laughs> March Madness. I just want to show the people I work with that like I know what I'm doing. Yeah. Okay. I mean, listen, that could be a pretty funny Get Ready With Me. Just saying. I wonder what I would use actually. Now to come and think of it. <laughs> Fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> Hannah, I think I have a better chance of going to prison before getting 100k subs in 2024. Just saying. It's not not really. <laughs> I think it's more realistic to shoot for prison at this point. Which, listen. What else am I doing, right? Yeah. Okay, here's my pajamas. Love my little jam jams. And I have all these other fucking shirts, I guess, right? I have all my work clothes. Ugh, ugh, work clothes, yuck. Little shirts up here. And <laughs> don't be pessimistic. Sorry, mom, sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> Sarah, now I kind of want to go to prison just so that I can catfish. <laughs> oh, God. Do you remember when catfish was good? I was actually thinking about that today. I was, like, trying to figure out, like, I, I like, comfort watch shows. Like, I have so much anxiety that I just typically watch shows that I've seen a bunch of fucking times because it just, you know, makes me feel good and all that stuff. And... One of the shows I wanted to watch today, which I didn't wind up putting on because I was kind of like, man, I don't know. Like I, I wanted, I remember catfish so like fondly in my brain, but when I think about it now, I'm like, I don't know. It's just not, it doesn't like land the same way, which is kind of a shame. I hate that. It used to be a really fun show. But now, I don't know, I'm just like not into it. Wait, do I need to do anything in here? No, this was all clean, right? Yeah, okay. Catfish was really good, right? But I don't know, like it's just, maybe because it's been on for so long, it's like I just have no interest. Like anyone kind of getting catfish now, I'm kind of like, really? Really? I don't know, there's just so many fucking things that can like prevent you from getting fucking catfish right like I don't know I guess there used to be I feel like there used to be like a sense of realness about it I felt it was I guess it felt more believable I guess if you want to say it like that right but I don't know But I, I was just thinking about it and I was like, I really miss Catfish. Anyway, I need to watch a show. Like I need like a kind of like a shitty reality show. Does anybody have any good suggestions for me? Catfish YouTube channel that helps mostly senior citizens in romance scams. Oh my God. What? I want to see that channel, the catfish for, for seniors. I want to see that. That sounds like sad and adorable all at the same time. Oh, millionaire matchmaker. Yo, actually, can I tell you person I work with is, um, talking to a matchmaking service and it is very fucking expensive, very expensive, but they're, the success rate apparently is like fucking 97% or something like that. And they really like weed out, um, like just all, I don't know. I don't even know. They just weed out all the goblins, I guess. 
<laughs> and then you just like left with, you know, this, the people of your choosing or something like that. But fucking matchmaking services and shit, that is just so fucking interesting. And I'm really hope, I'm hopeful that the person I work with, like that they are going to get their money's worth. Cause like when they told me that it was like fucking like $10,000, like that's a lot of money. $10,000 to find maybe a chance at love. Shit. I don't know. Like that's, that's wild. I don't know. But if anybody has ever done a matchmaking service though, let me know. Oh, I also need to watch the new season of Love is Blind. Guy I work with was talking about it today. And I was like, I need to watch it. I didn't realize it came back on. I need a sugar daddy service. I need someone to support my adoption of all the cats. I can <laughs> Chell, I think we can find somebody. How does your feet look? Are you doing OnlyFans? I had a friend use a matchmaking service and said it was complete garbage. Did many pick with her? Oh, or terrible. See, that's my biggest fear for that, for that girl. Um, for that girl. <laughs> like she, I, don't know. I, I want her to find love so badly. And like, I almost want to be like, can we just like create our own Bravo show? And <laughs> like, I don't know. Like I just, oh, I just, it would pain me if she wasted her fucking money. It would pain me. It would, ugh, it's, it's just awful. But I mean, she was even just telling me like just the caliber of dudes. And the reason why she wanted to go to the matchmaking service is that like the caliber of dudes that she is like meeting are like fucking disgusting. <laughs> like disgusting. Like to the point where, uh, like I just don't think people just know how to talk to each other anymore. And I'm always so thankful that I, found my person I found my husband and all that stuff and we've been together for like this year we'll make it 16 years I mean Alex have been together and I'm very thankful that I found somebody and because I think about like and I hear about the horror stories that are out today I mean like fucking my girl I, girl I work with oh my god like this dude like fucking just was like saying all the wrong fucking things and then like afterwards like asked her if for fucking nude photos so that like, you know, he can, because she wouldn't, I guess like fuck him, <laughs> fuck him or like give him a hand job for like the coffee, the coffee date. Okay. And she's like, well, can you like, give me like a picture of your, like, your titty or something so I can jerk off. I'm like, really? Like <laughs> fucking so disgusting. Fucking so disgusting. I can't, but also like, thank you. <laughs> Um, no, I, I think she's not dating in Manhattan, just definitely dating in New Jersey, which I feel like it's its own kind of fucking, you know, like, uh, <laughs> oh, New Jersey. Oh. So either way, I feel for her. She's, she's going through it, but it's just fucking unbelievable. Just the, the amount of like balls, like fucking dudes have. To be like, yeah, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to ask, <laughs> I'm going to ask for a picture of your titty because you know what? I think I deserve it. <laughs> it's like you're fucking monster. Oh my God. Men are disgusting. That they are. Also, kind of now a little sad thinking about it. Cause it's like, why didn't Alex ask for a picture of my titty? What, my titties not good enough? Oh, okay. Anyway. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about. Hey, Tara. Joycey, listen. I tell Alex all the time, if if we get divorced or he passes away, I'm, I'm not, I, I will fucking die alone. And I'm okay with that. <laughs> I'm okay with that. And I told him like, you know, you die alone. Because there's no good, nobody's going to be as good as me. Okay? Nobody. No, I just rather just die alone. I'll jerk off everyone who buys me a cup of coffee. Not gonna lie. I mean, like, <laughs> you are destroying me right now, Mr. Unicorn. <laughs> destroying me. Okay. Oh, I'm drinking liquid death. 
no alcohol. We're just talking about disgusting things. <laughs> Sorry. Alex is going to have to die alone if I die. All right. Sorry. I didn't make the rules. Okay. I don't know. It's just going to happen. <laughs> Get over it. You'll learn to love quiet solitude. All right. I think I need to put... No, I kind of need to put my games here because I don't know who my roommate is. And my roommate could fucking steal my shit. So we're going to make sure that my game system is locked the fuck up. You know? I have... <laughs> oh, hey, Hannah's playing. Can you see that? Hannah's playing. Hey, Hannah. <laughs> right no I don't tr tr I've never tried truly but am I missing out maybe I'm missing out nope okay you don't go in there fine don't fucking go in there fine little bitch uh, we'll put that up we'll put my iPod up there Yeah, right? Yeah. Okay. I feel good. I feel good about this. I feel good. My room feels fun. Actually, I feel like I should probably put this over here. No, nah, we'll keep you over here. Ooh. Smiley face. Okay. Wait, a bushfire? What? what? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What happened? Oh, 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 okay. For, I thought you, okay, Eve, listen, I heard bushfire. I thought you meant your nether regions, not like the actual bush. Sorry about that. My bad. Hopefully everything's okay. Fingers crossed. I love Grand Theft Auto. I'm waiting for the new one. That's where I'm at. Also, like, does my, do I need, I guess I need double trash cans, right? Not a euphemism. <laughs> yes, I totally realize now it's not a euphemism. At first, thought it was a huge euphemism. But what can I say? I'm fucking gross. So I mean, like par for the course. But it's not though. That's sort of a brush fire starts with there. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> oh man. Well, I sincerely hope that those that are affected by the bushfire, you're okay. And I hope I could make you laugh with my stupidity. I love you. <laughs> also, I love my jumbo pads because I do love wings. God, I can't, listen, I can't get on board with tampons. It's just not for me. I should, it's just too foreign. I just, I don't like it. <laughs> Not that anybody cares or fucking really gives a shit about it, but I'm, I'm just letting you know, it's just not for me. It scares me. Cal, I hope that your chest hurts because you're laughing, not because you are suffering from anything. I just like, please don't. Do you, do you need something? Do you need, do you need something? Can we, can we do something for you? Tampons are overrated. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I feel great that everyone loathes tampons as well. I just threw away a big box of pads since I don't get periods anymore and I expect it to be sad, but I just, but it did not feel sad. Cal, I'm waiting, babe, I'm waiting for the day where I turn menopausal. And I'm like, Ugh. like, and I'm probably close to like perimenopause, right? Well, not really. I'm, I'll be 39 this year. So I still got a ways to go, I guess. But like, I'm looking forward to the day that I don't have to bleed. <sighs> so listen, I, I, I would be the same way as you. I wouldn't cry. I'd be like, nah. I'm expecting to be emotional. It's like, no, fuck that shit. No. Bye, period. Bye. <laughs> fuck out of here. Mm-mm-mm. Also, no problem, Eve. Love your face. Don't make that offer in this chat. Me. 
Oh, I think Mason, I think you're behind. Okay. Cause I was like, wait, what offer? And I was like, oh yeah, gift cards. <laughs> I was like, I forgot about that. <laughs> oh, perimenopause might hit in your fifties. Okay. Cause I think my mom is like in her forties to fifties. Hmm. Yeah. Like actually, so I have to go to the doctor at end of next month and I get to do my yearly scraping of the vaginal wall or whatever the fuck they're going to do to me. And I can't wait to have the conversation of like, so are you going to have children? <laughs> I was going to be like, no, I can't make up children. I don't want children. Look at them. They're gross. Ugh. So I can't wait to have that conversation. Um, <laughs> that should be fun. <sighs> but my doctor's pretty cool though. She doesn't make me feel like I should have children. So we love that. We love letting a bitch live. You know what I mean? Love that. It's like, just let me live. I think I need to put my makeup bag up here. Yeah, I do. <gasps> Ooh, she's looking pretty. Oh, wait, I gotta do something with this fucking thing. Uh, no, can I put this in here? Nope, you're not gonna let me, but you probably will let me put you right here though. Yeah, bitch. Okay. I think we're good, right? Mm, here. I think I get to go back here. I think this is the last spot. It's my kitchen, which I have to put. Yep. Here's my purple towel. And no problem. Everyone who has to go uh, schedule their doctor's appointments, please do so. Um, I also think I have to wait. When do I have to go get a mammogram? It's not. It's 40 or it's before 40, right? I feel like I need to get my titty squeeze one of these days. Just to make sure that everything's okay. <laughs> so lovely. Just, you know, getting my titty squeeze. Like, what else is now? 40? 50? Okay. I'm going to ask her. I'm like, hey, do I need to squeeze a little for you? If so, please squeeze away. I'm not looking forward to that. The fucking mammogram thing. That's what I'm not looking forward to. Cause that shit looks like it fucking hurts and I don't want to fucking deal with it. But we will see. I banished my titties. Be gone. <laughs> Cal, that's what I imagine you did. He's <laughs> be gone titties. <laughs> Your titties just melted away. fucking hearts and they have no sympathy for it. Ugh. The only thing I've ever had to do um, was uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. I'm like touching my titty while doing it. Uh, sonogram. Was it sonogram? Yeah. Because I got them cystic titties. <laughs> I have cysts and it's really kind of cute. Not really. It sucks. And um, was not fun was not fun doing that and they like had to do it so many fucking times going like over and over and over and over and over and over and over again just to like and like literally like tenderize me as if i was uh just like a, a fucking just piece of meat basically not fun hated every fucking second of that so i don't i imagine it's fucking worse though the mammogram because they like really they fuck you up. <laughs> they squish your titty down like a fucking pancake. I'm really like not looking forward to that. I don't need a flapjack titty. Oh, I forgot. I put all this shit over here. I was like, why? What the fuck is this stuff? Totally forgot about it. <laughs> Ask for a heated speculum. Okay. Okay. I was just I, I, knowing my smart ass. I'm going to be like, can you please put it in the freezer? <laughs> Like, I run hot as it is. Like, make sure, you know, fucking like a, a cold stone treatment. Ew. <laughs> that just grossed me out. Oh, God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> mm -mm, mm -mm. Do you imagine? Oh, God. Cold stone me. Fucking gross. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Fuck me. Oh, wait, hold on. I need to put my pot somewhere. I feel like I, uh, this is the only place I put my pot, right? Yeah, because I mean, I really can't. Oh, wait. Oh, dumbass. You put your pot over here. You dumb, dumb. Seriously. 
and put your pot over here. Started 2023 with cancer, ended with a tummy tuck and bigger boobs. Meredith, <laughs> Meredith, I like those odds. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Are you cancer free? Meredith? Please say yes. <laughs> Just say no to bot. <laughs> Meredith, yay! No cans or bigger titties. Yes! <laughs> we love that for you. <laughs> That's so good. So fucking good. I need to put my little cookie jar over here. And then where's my oil go? Probably over yonder. Okay. All right, y'all. We made our house cute. Let's take our picture. We love that. No chemo, no radiation. That's fucking great. getting a hysterectomy when I was 32 the female doctor said well your future husband might want children I'm like go fuck yourself <laughs> I don't need crotch goblins Get the fuck out of here now for everybody that's curious where I am in my life right now not me this person in the game not me um I am now seeing someone and I think it's a dude, right? Yeah, it's a dude. It's a finance bro. And he lays like letting me like live in his apartment. And so that's what I'm doing. I'm unpacking pretty much um, now my life here, pretending that um, I like this guy. But while well, he's like a fucking douche. Ugh. Ugh. Although he does have a nice toilet. Like that's a nice toilet. I'm not gonna lie. That's a good toilet. <laughs> <gasps> oh, hubs got snipped. That's good. That's good. We have the pull out method in our house. <laughs> <laughs> Just yell no babies every time. No, I'm gonna... <laughs> Sorry, that was inappropriate. <sighs> I'm fine. <laughs> oh yeah you can't tell if there's pee here no <laughs> just next time you're with your partner just yell that no babies and it's just let me tell you it just makes you laugh every fucking time <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Look at all this fun stuff that I have. Oh, look. This is a dude's house. Like, doesn't have any personality whatsoever. Ugh. Gross. No fun fucking magnets. Nothing. Except just a random picture of me and him, I guess. I don't know. I can't really tell, actually. That could be us. That could be him and his mom. Who the fuck knows? Who knows? All right, we don't know. You know what they call it, people who use plot method parents? St Margo, stop it. Don't you jinx us like that, girl. <laughs> Don't you jinx us. Okay. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh, Meredith, this, <laughs> this is unpacking and also talking about gross things. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> oh. I'm going to fix this. Don't worry, y'all. Ooh, Lorena Bobbitt knife. Yes, please. Does anyone know who Lorena Bobbitt is? Does anyone remember that? That's all I got. <laughs> just, just, that's all I got. Garbage baby. Yes. Snippy, snippy. <laughs> yes. I remember when I was a kid, like, thinking that it was like, 
the funniest thing. Oh my God, I grew up in a very weird, <laughs> very weird house. But it was like, I mean, it was different back then. It's, it was very fucked up. <laughs> Ugh, what am I supposed to do with all this stuff? He doesn't have enough storage space. Seriously, where can I put all this shit? I don't even know where the fuck I put this stuff. She's an icon. Yes, <laughs> she is. <laughs> yeah, they all went into porn. The Joey Botafuco or something. All right. No, that's different. Joey Botafuco was the other one. The um, Lolita Amy or whatever the fuck. Long Island Lolita. Oh, I can't think of her fucking name. Amy though. Amy something. Yes, you had no Twitter to pub you have no Twitter to publicly shame. It had to be handled in private or in the New York Post. Yes. Uh, couldn't agree more. Couldn't agree more. I don't know how people do it now. Like shit. It's wild. Amy Fisher. Yes, Amy Fisher. That's the name I, I fucking forgot about. It's, this is a weird chat, y'all. <laughs> It's like, how the fuck? It's just like, I, you know what I think it is? I think I inhaled too much of this that now I'm just, I don't, I don't even know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> No, not Schumer. <laughs> Which, oh my God. I, I think, does anyone know why she's canceled? I, I don't, I don't know too much about her. I just keep seeing on uh, the TikTok uh, that she did something. But I don't know. They never say what she did, so I don't know what she did. Probably something very fucking stupid. Um, but I don't know. Take another hit. <laughs> I don't know why there's a lot of things here. It makes no sense. Amy Schumer. It, well, yes, that too. Very annoying. <laughs> very annoying. That we can't deny. Oh, I have a ukulele. Good for me. Oh, God, bitch. I'm going to put all this stuff away. Oh, yeah, I forgot I was in this room first. Where am I? I don't like that. She says people hate her because she's fat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, bitch. Okay, sure. All right. I mean... The internet does hate women and fat people, but I feel like there's a little bit more to the story, right? It has to be. I personally can't stand her. Don't even know. <laughs> no. Oh, Lena. Uh, yeah, Lena Dunham. Lena Dunham is a fucking weirdo. Fucking weirdo. Weirdo. It was like, oh, she wrote that article about basically abusing her sister i was like what the fuck what how how like what what Ugh. fucking people are so ridiculous like why are you telling on yourself Ugh, fucking gross 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 oh jared leto isn't that well isn't he a cult leader though <laughs> Cult leader, yes. Yeah, I can't stand people that like literally fucking make themselves the goddamn victim every time. So annoying. And she's a classic case of that for sure. Actually, I hated the show Girls. I hated it. So, like, I was like, I was hoping that this would be something that like I could relate to, you know, like fucking growing up in New York and whatever in like the 20s and like the in the 20s like the 1920s the fuck am I talking about meaning like <laughs> being in New York in my 20s and just like navigating that and whatever and I was like this is just not even fucking relatable and I, who was I don't even I don't even know just I don't even know who the show is for it wasn't even like remotely fucking funny that was the other insult <sighs> could have been something Hey, this is called unpacking. Yeah, you're like, no one in New York is this dumb. Transplants, yes. Those that um, fucking from Iowa, yeah. I would say that it probably maybe resonated for them. But nothing against I people from Iowa, but the ones that I love the ones that are like they moved to New York and 
Oh God, just the fucking transplants, they kill me. Adam Driver is fine. I could I could take Adam Driver. Wait, your first is a pill baby? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> it's like, excuse me? Huh? Still working at it. Oh, here's my degree. Guess he doesn't want to see my degree, huh? Got to put it under the bed. The fact that it's okay for it to be under the bed is very funny, I think. Very telling. He doesn't care about my accomplishments. And that's why we don't stay with him. And then we're also actually a lesbian, so. If you didn't know. <laughs> I, my character is a lesbian. And that's what is just like so beautiful about this game. She's a lesbian. And she's a wonderful partner. But first she has to fuck this finance bro. And then she realizes this is dick is just not for me. And then she finds a nice lady and they're very happy together. That's what unpacking is all about, ladies and gentlemen. All right. <laughs> That's what this game's about. <laughs> Fucking a finance bro and realizing this is not for me. This is not for me. Mm -mm. I just assume that she, I, I just assume she was just a lesbian and I was just very happy with, I was like, okay, there's nothing wrong with she's, she could be bisexual too. She could be anything she wants to be, but I just assumed that it was just lesbian because I mean, come on, if you had to fuck this guy, he's exhausting. Look at his apartment. Oh, <laughs> Sarah, let me tell you, I was completely surprised by it and I got misty eyed. I was like, oh, she's finally happy now. <laughs> I loved it. It was so good. <laughs> this is kind of like a Patrick Bateman kind of a finance bro okay like that's what i would assume he's very particular really hates the fact that you know we don't have like an oral b toothbrush and that we use our chipped cup from fucking art school he hates that and he also doesn't leave us any space at all at all like who does that what monster does that Zach Efron can get it any time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> sure. <laughs> uh, oh, Chelsea. I miss Manhattan. I miss all the fun things I used to say. I miss, I miss that. It's not the same. Oh my God. Fucking, can I tell you? <laughs> so we, all right, when we hire somebody new, we have to do a cooler where it's like a meet and greet basically, right? And <laughs> tell me if this is gonna be fucked up or not. I mean, I think it's funny. So the every time we have a cooler, there's always a question. And it could be as simple as, you know, like, what is your favorite season? What, um, you know, what's your favorite television show? What is your favorite snack? Like very like vanilla questions, right? So <laughs> the person that's running this meeting who is like a head, 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 head person, like really high up there, sent it out. We're going to be meeting two people. Um, one person that actually used to work with me left now came back which I'm very happy about. And then like a new person. And the question is, what do you like working for? Like, what do you like most about working from home? And <laughs> so I was going to say literally like just no context whatsoever. I was going to say a clean bathroom. <laughs> not say anything else actually it's it's I, I have two answers it's either a clean bathroom or no mice like the fact that my office <laughs> the cubicle that i fucking lived in for x amount of years 
the fact that the bathroom had a hole in the ceiling and I saw a roach. <laughs> I saw a roach literally pop out on a lady's shoulder, okay? The fact that I saw that and that that was a thing, like that was a fucking common theme in that bathroom or the fact that there were so many, like Midtown mice do not play, okay? The fact that we saw so many mice just like running through cubicles, is that fucked up to say? <laughs> like, or I don't, I hope people laugh. I usually like giving the weird answers because everybody is so like boring. So I like to try to like make people laugh. I try to say like the stupidest fucking thing possible. <laughs> so, so that's what I think I'm gonna say. But let me know if that's a bad idea. <laughs> let me know if that's a bad idea to say that. But I just, ugh, sometimes these like questions that we have to, it's just so awkward. I work in pharma, that would be especially horrifying. <laughs> oh, that'd be fucking horrifying. Kazmira, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> Cal, good night, lover. Have a good one. Love your face. Which, by the way, oh, I'm almost, I'm almost out of time, y'all. Because I have to get up early tomorrow and record. Oh, by the way, spoiler alert. I just got my Nails Inc. McDonald's nails in the mail. So we're going to film that this weekend. And I'm so excited about it because me and Alex are going to like do nails finally. I don't know why I'm whispering. You could probably hear me. He's, he's watching this in the next room. <laughs> Bye, Eve. Bye, my babies. It's gonna be so much fun. Hey, Bonnie. Oh, you can still hear me? Okay. Hey, Alex. <laughs> um, I, I, how do I? Alex, can I get your assistance actually? Oh yeah, I also have the lashes too, but that's gonna be a separate video. That's going to be a separate video, but don't you worry. I have a box full of lashes that we still got to play. Hi. Oh, Eve, I thought you were leaving. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> I know I'm going to be leaving soon, but I thought you were leaving. So never mind. Hi, welcome back. Alex, can you get, can you get in here? Manager, manager. How do I, how do I get out of here? <laughs> I feel like I hear him in the distance being like, oh God. I need you to like, I I'm stuck in the game. No, I just want to like, I, I like stuck on this monitor. <laughs> Which one? Nope, that's not the right one. Oh, I did it. Thanks, Dad. Love you. <laughs> We're going to put a pause on this unbox. Oh my God, better off red Santa. My little angel bear who moved to Brooklyn. You know, your peak Virgo when unpacking virtual boxes is this compelling. You need to play this game. It is a lot of fun. It is very exciting. <laughs> Sarah, stop it. I heard if you die in this game, you die in real life. So <laughs> fucking monster. Oh my God. Oh wait, now it's just me. Wait, no, I didn't want to do that. Y'all, I'm dumb. Anyway, hey, we're going to pause it on the unpacking for, for now. We're going to come back and we're going to do the finance bros house next but nice. mm. 
I'm kind of done with unpacking a little bit. I still just have a, I still have like three boxes of fucking pallets that I have to um, put them in storage, which I got more storage. And the problem is I need like another rack. So I just got a rack um, from Amazon. So I got to wait for Alex to put that together. But so almost done. And then it's going to be the putting of lights and um, putting shit on the walls and just decorating more because there's like still a fucking echo and still it's also an echo in this room too. I just, I need more furniture. So that's what we're going to be doing. <laughs> no, I think like for, for me to like unpack a bunch of boxes I just feel bad for my misophonia folks because they would just be like, this is fucking annoying. Just like hearing like a crinkling of paper and shit like that. That'd be terrible. Anyway, Julian, I'm only here for Alex. <laughs> Aren't we all? Aren't we all just here for Alex? No. <laughs> oh, so behind me is actually going to be um, a Halloween three poster. And then... I do have a Jaws poster. I have met, I actually have several Jaws posters. Um, but I think I'm going to put the, the Halloween one because, so this is like my one cube, which, oh my God, let me show you actually. I built this yesterday. Watch I fucking break it. Look how cute this is. I went to art school, paid $100,000 and I built this. <laughs> If I don't laugh, I cry. Um, but no, I just, it's my little homage to my photography, my sales photography <laughs> background. <laughs> but I love this. I thought it was really cute. And I love that Lego made that. So anyway, it was a pain in the ass to build, but it was a lot of fun though. It doesn't, no, not really. It doesn't, well, kind of doesn't really work. So like you get the little box too. And then here are your little Polaroids, which are like super, it's just super cute, right? So for example, I think what I can do is I can do this. Watch me break it. Well, the other day it was, well, yesterday I should say. It was like, I guess it was just this. <laughs> you could kind of like leave it. Fuck that up. You could kind of leave it right here as if it's like taking it out or whatever, but like, we're not doing that. So instead we leave her there and then we put these back in the little Polaroid box that it comes in. How cute is that, right? So love that. And then I have another one, like a, like another little camera that I got to build later, but Oh yeah, I forgot to put him on too. My little piglet. He's fun. And then, oh, I forgot to put, I'm fucking up here. I had all this stuff that I was gonna fucking put on. I didn't even fucking put them on. I'm like some fucking hack streamer over here. But see these kind of lights, um, I actually stole this one from Alex's office. I have my own, but I just like never, I never got to put them together when we lived in the old place because it was just kind of just kind of like a little bit of a pain in the ass but um now i'm going to be kind of i want to do like these kind of fun lights behind me so for here it's going to be you know like little little doodads and shit like that but for when i film now i want to have kind of different colors behind me um so that's going to be kind of fun that's going to be kind of a little bit of a work in progress because i got to figure out how they're going to work with the studio lights but that's my problem now. Oh, that's cute. That's a cute idea, Mason. I like that. Eve, no problem, sweetheart. I know, right? Mood lighting and makeup. Also, here's the other thing I was thinking. I think I'm like really, I, 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 I don't know. I was talking about with Alex last night. Makeup is kind of fucking boring lately, right? I don't know. Like I, I have a bunch of new products and I'm going to be trying them and all that stuff. But like, I want to, I'm trying to figure out 
more kind of, I don't know, just more fucking interesting things to do, you know? Like, I don't want to go the route of, well, I mean, I already kind of have my plans of like, okay, kind of doing like, you know, story times and stuff like that, but more in like a get ready with me kind of a format. Some of them like being, you know, like recaps of things or whatever. And some being like kind of, um, you know, whatever, if, if anything does happen, it's kind of hard these days. Like when you work from home, nothing like super fun ever really happens. Right. But um, I was just trying to think of like other kind of like makeup content that's just not so fucking stuffy. I don't know. Like, I love new makeup and shit, but after a while, it's kind of like, all right, it's like Groundhog's Day. And I'm like, okay, all right, it's a fucking blush, <laughs> you know? So I don't know. It's like, ugh. movie reviews get ready with me. That would be kind of fun. Oh, I'm definitely doing Lego building in this uh, capacity for sure. I just need to set the camera up when I'm in Alex's office because his, um, now that he's starting to set up his streaming room and stuff like that, that will be a better area uh, to do Lego building and stuff like that. <laughs> Mr. Unicorn, you're fucking killing me. <laughs> I could do that. Yeah. Reddit reactions. Makeup has been slow. It really has. Horror movies and makeup. Chelsea, to be fair, like, he he had a chunk of it set up, but, like, boy has been really just busting his ass running around, uh, making sure that we're we're good, so. He's, he's been, he's been running around, but now he's starting to, like, now we're almost done with the old house, so we should be in a good spot. More Vanderpump recaps. Oh, the mummy. I'm curious about how you set up palettes for certain themes. So many more of that. I, you know, it's so funny. Like we, we were even like fucking talking about like just watching Goosebumps episodes and, and all that stuff. Like to do um, like all the stuff that we really kind of did with uh, Dead and Bored, but kind of like do them more for like a video format, which we were talking about just because I thought that would be kind of interesting to do. We have our ideas for arts and crafts. I don't even want to tell you some of them. I'm not even going to tell you because some of them like last night we were talking about and we we're fucking cracking up, crying. We're like, this is going to be really good. Um, and I totally forgot. So as Alex is like cleaning at the house, he, uh, he, he was like, oh, by the way, I forgot that, you know, cause we bought. So one of the things that we were supposed to do in December and then it didn't happen because my mom fucking murdered me was gingerbread houses. And he was like, they're so good. You want to like build one? I was like, yeah, fuck yeah. Let's build it. <laughs> let's build these gingerbread houses in fucking March. That'd be pretty fun. Um, so we're just trying to think of like, just more, I don't know, just like weird fucking just shit. Just, I'm just, I don't know. Like, I love makeup and I'll always do like reviews of stuff, but it's just like just some other things, you know, like it gets fucking stale after a while. I'm like, I don't know. Just how many times can I say like, this is pigmented, <laughs> you know, like, fuck. I like to get ready with, with me where you kind of look is based on a heart icon. That sounds really good. What would you like to watch a movie and make a drinking game for it and do your makeup throughout? That'd be pretty cute. Maybe build a palette based on different movies. If you screw up the gingerbread house, <laughs> take a small T-Rex through your random like trash place. That's cute. I'm sure a lot of things. Well, I mean, with movie stuff, um, I don't know. If you show clips, not so much demonetized, but like there's a good chance of if you show clips of something, um, it could be not a copyright strike, but like not quite that. But they just take all the revenue. If they if there is revenue, if it doesn't get too one size, they'll just take the fucking revenue from it, which sucks. I did not see the new Rare Beauty bag. All the junk purchases, not just makeup. <laughs> yeah, copyright claim. Thank you. I couldn't think of the fucking word. I was like, not a not a copy strike. Not that. Thank you, Bean. I appreciate that. 
Yeah, I just want to do like a little more variety. Like, it's never gonna not like we're always gonna do makeup here, but like just something just like you know, a little bit more arts craft, like arts and crafts, kind of fun. Just something I don't know, just fucking different, just different. Because I mean, I don't know. Like, I love makeup, but after a while, it just kind of becomes a little monotonous and. You know, like I, like today, what came in the mail was like all um, the new KVD shit, the like good apple blush and the bronzer stuff. And I was like, okay. And then I was like, oh, should I just like, like, should I just make a video just solely about that product? And I'm like, I don't think really people give a fuck about it. Like I kind of have to like throw it with other things. And then I'm like, I don't want to just always do fucking try-ons, which I mean, listen, there's nothing wrong with just doing just try-ons, but like after a while, it's like, you do anything else, bitch, <laughs> you know? So but I like the um, silly arts and crafts. So. Drunk build a bear. Oh my god! Stop! I love that. <laughs> Painting with makeup or nail polish. Oh yeah, I did see the new bronzers. I didn't really get a good look at them. The NYX ones. I just saw that they were like fat, and I was like, ooh. <laughs> I didn't try diamond paint painting yet. I gotta do that one. I know, I need to do shop my stash too. Drunk Lego couple therapy. I need to like see what that is. Cause I know someone referenced it before. We also talked about like, you know, reacting to things and I know we talked about that briefly at one point, like maybe you know, I was like, may I add the asshole a little bit or I don't know, just, just something just fun. More tier list. That was the other thing we were talking about, like actually rating things. And I think that's what I'm going to be doing actually probably more next month is that I really like doing the one that I did for Pat McGrath. And I thought that was really fun. And then I was like, you know what? The next one I should do is like Natasha Denona because I got, I have quite a few palettes of hers and, just to see how much money I wasted is pretty funny. <laughs> so I was thinking like, okay, well maybe we can kind of do like a ruthless kind of like tier ranking of like what I think is like the best palettes um, from, from the brand. And then maybe like the best products from a brand or something like that. I don't know, just kind of, kind of spice it up a little bit, you know. Just me, that sounds fun. I gotta fucking... I gotta look at that. I'm a big fan of people doing things that they like, but you seem to really enjoy coming up with palette ideas. Mm. Rank roasting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Chelsea, I think I would do like more the tier list probably at live, it'd just be easier probably to do that. And then we can also have like the fun element of the actual tier list. Ooh, that'd be kind of fun. Not kind of, that would be fun. But the ranking now, I'm definitely doing that for sure. And then I also need to do kind of like, I think what I might do actually, um, maybe like one video a week will be like dedicated to like fun size reviews. So like I could just throw a bunch of like products and I can kind of like talk about them kind of quickly. Um, maybe do a try on every other week. Like if we just have like a bunch of fucking products or something and then kind of fill the rest of it with, well, makeup bingos will be on Fridays, but like just kind of fill the rest of it of being like either ranking or shop my stash or story time, get ready with me or recaps of shows or just recaps of, or maybe even just talking about what the fuck is going on. You know, if there's like something outlandish or whatever, but just something a little bit more different. And then of course, all the arts and crafts that I had planned. So yeah. What if you set up an audience ranking and you roast the general ranking reach of the audience as a whole? Mason, that would be pretty fun. That would be pretty fucking fun. Oh my God. I would love to go through Torrid um, and just like look at all the cold shoulder options. <laughs> the fun size reviews, I love doing them, but the, the fucked up part was is that I kept getting, which was so stupid. It was like, 
I had, I initially had them as bite sized reviews and then I got demonetized. I don't know, like they didn't like the word bite for some weird reason, which I never understood. So then I had to change them to fun size. But then um, the fun size, like, I don't know, people kind of just weren't really like super into. So then like I kind of like slowed down with those. But I think I'm just going to probably bring those back a little bit and then maybe just do like more roundups at the end of the month because I do try a lot of shit and, you know, do like one big catch all. But I, Yeah, I, 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 I want to do more like kind of chatty, get ready with me, you know, because that's the other thing is like with try ons, it kind of just feels like I'm there for like business. And then I'm just like, okay, <laughs> you know, like, all right. Um, so yeah. Kevin, I miss those too. I don't have a lot of fun stories here. Like, I don't know, like, it's just Florida is definitely, it's definitely different. Um, but it's not as like, like New York is crazy. <laughs> you think Florida's crazy? It's like, no, New York's fucking crazy. The amount of stupid shit that I would see on a fucking daily basis. And then versus here where it's like, nothing fun happens. Everybody's an asshole. <laughs> Florida man Fridays. I wish, I wish I got more Florida man. Mm-mm. I have lots of opinions part one. That's cute. A whole video about tasty treats. Oh, <laughs> my mother would love that. But um, I need to, I actually, we need to finish our vlog too. Cause we had a vlog of Disney cruise line. We got to finish that. So even if you use stills, not if you use stills, that's fine. But if you use like clips in a movie, like an actual clip and you don't, uh, that could get you for copyright. First of all, SR Green, I feel personally attacked by that. <laughs> I do, I have so many of them. I have like fucking 15, probably 20. Shut up. <laughs> Roasting your subscribers' life choices would be fun. <laughs> I mean, it could be fun until somebody cries and I feel bad about it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I gotta do, oh, that's right. The Sephora sale is coming up. We should totally do... Um, that's what we should do. Come April, we should we should do a, a drunk a drunk shopping spray. See if, see if there are things that I want. Why am I going out of focus? That's weird. Ghosts in this room, obviously. Oh my God. Yay. May, I'm so excited for you. So good. I watch your Disney things. Disney right now fucking sucks. Unless you're going on the cruise. Like that's the only thing that's like, yeah. Trunk shopping should be, it should be a video game. It should be. <laughs> hey, Night Star. Google AI can't do a good analysis of fair use, so it looks like it's works nice conservation for auto flagging. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what? I should do that too. Let Alex shop my stash. Like, here you go. Tell me what I should put on. He'd probably be like, I don't know what the fuck this is, which could be pretty fun. <laughs> Disney World is the seventh, <laughs> seventh ring of hell. <laughs> well, now anyway, I, it's, yeah, it's, it's not the same. COVID fucked that place up. And then they just got fucking greedy. And they just don't hire their people back. <laughs> Too real. But, oh my God. Do you imagine sending, do you, well, you know what? I feel like. You know what? I'm going to give Alex credit because he has edited enough videos to know products. But that's actually a very good point. Maybe we'll take him to an Ulta and I'll let him just get me a full face of stuff because Ulta has a little bit more variety, I feel like. We should do that. That'd be actually pretty fun, actually. I like that. 
What if you compare what you bought this month last year to what you bought this year? That's actually a good point. I actually don't even, uh, it's so bad. I don't even fucking remember what I bought. I remember what I fucking did last week. Okay. <laughs> so like it's all a black hole in my brain, but that's actually a good point too. Like look, re look back at my shit. I'm like, oh, what did I buy? Alex punching 10 year olds as a supporter would be hilarious. I mean, yeah, it would be. <laughs> Alex, you want to like punch kids in the face? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh shit. Oh my God. You know what I should do? It should be like, um, if you choose to accept this mission, like get me a full face of makeup and like, don't like, you cannot get the help of a sales associate. That would be pretty fucking funny. Actually, that's a really good idea. That's a good idea. We should do that. <laughs> I should just give him like a list, like a very like broad, like, okay, you need to get like a foundation, a concealer, a highlighter, blush, bronzer. It's, it's, it's going to be expensive, but whatever. We'll just make him a fucking list and he cannot like get help. He has to figure it out himself. Okay, good. If you want that, great. We're going to do that. If you have favorites videos in the past, you can watch them. That's true too, chill. Has to wear a GoPro. And you know what? He has a little fucking camera, that little tiny camera. He could totally do it. And yes, we're doing, I'm going to do Legos, but we're doing Legos in this capacity in the live, because I think it'd be more fun to like watch, you know, but I would probably like, you know, put the camera down. Ooh, see my titties. Um, <laughs> <laughs> put the camera down or whatever. Uh, but we're going to do an Alex's setup because he has like a nicer setup than mine. Um, and then we're just going to do all that fun stuff. GoPro on his head. <laughs> put a limit, tell him no more than 500. Ooh, that's actually pretty good too. You know why? Well, okay. Okay. We're going to do two different versions of this video. We're going to do a Sephora video, right? Where it's going to be mostly mm, Sephora is like what mid to luxury. And then we're going to do like an Ulta, like drugstore. Or maybe I should just make him go to a fucking CBS then. We're going to do two different versions. Full family. Oh God. LA colors and Alme. The Alme would fucking kill me. Yes. Casimir, I will wait. I do have a couple of packages, but I'll wait till your package comes and then I'll do another mail time. <laughs> I would hope my boy would know better not to get fucking Morphe, but why? <laughs> it's actually a really good fucking idea. I'll let a slice cucumber. Oh, fuck. If I can't even use my tools, that's actually even like more wild. That he also, Alex, come in here for a second. Can you just come in here? I would like for you to talk. The people demand it. Not a well-stocked one where you won't be able to find shades. Oh no. <laughs> Wait, no, we're gonna send him to a bad CBS? Did you hear, like, you're gonna go shopping for me? Yeah, so you want more for you, right? <laughs> no, no. But do you feel comfortable and calm? No, oh, my little babe. Oh, my knees. No. Do you feel comfortable and confident? Sure. Okay. I feel like you you know enough from watching, like editing my videos, like you can get a full face of stuff. Mm -hmm. All right. I think this is good. This mm -hmm. is great. She wants chocolate. Stop it, Chelsea. <laughs> Ooh, Jay Hun, yeah. Would you you bring your little camera and your little thing and just talk? That or I just talk to my phone. Oh yeah, I yeah. splice it in. That's true. I'm I splice it in. Like, but you cannot ask for help. And if anyone comes up to you, you go, no, no, get away from me. Get away from me. <laughs> like stranger danger. Just yell that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. Am I supposed to talk to adults? No, you cannot talk to adults at all. And also, do you think it's worthwhile to like just do it in Sephora and Ulta, or do you think like if I just like drop it? I drop you off. You drop yourself oh, I drive off. Me. Oh, yeah, I, yeah, you drive me. Let's do that per first. You drive me to the location and then drop me off. Wow. You, you're just coming out for blood today, aren't you, boy? Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Boy, swinging. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> See, no babies. No babies, yep. <laughs> no babies. <laughs> Don't worry, Alex is going to wear false lashes. We have that. We have a box full of them. Alex hissing people on CBS. Mm-hmm. We're going to be doing all of that. Hannah, we're not driving. I'm not driving. <laughs> Are we? We're not gonna. No, we can't. Trucks do that. tend to flip when she drives, so we'll, we're gonna skip that part. <laughs> oh man! But um, y'all, I just want to say thank you so much. It's been very enlightening, and um, it's actually been very like really good ideas. So expect to see that this month, because I did tell them that we're gonna be doing McDonald's. I'm listening. Oh, I forgot you do listen to me. I love you. No babies. No no babies. (laughs) (laughs) No babies. Oh, yeah. Target, too. Oh, yeah. We could take you to a fucking Target. Why? I don't want to go to Target. You don't want to go to a Target? No. We could save 5% off, though. I did my time. I know. What's a Target? Makeup. Oh, there's a little Ulta, too, in there, actually. Yeah, why don't I just go to a fucking Ulta? And not go to a Target. (sighs) Okay, okay. My baby's mad. Or... (laughs) Babies are my hair. I a worse selection Ulta when I could just go to an Ulta. That's true. That's a, good, that's a good point. That's a good point. That's a good point. Would you... I'm trying to think. Like, we need to find a good Sephora. Maybe the one in the mall. That was a good one. That had a lot of shit in there. Yeah, that one was really big. You know? And I feel like people could, like, leave you alone. Yeah. The Disney one, I feel like it's just too much. There's too many no, fucking there's, people. There's people. They're going to think that you're a creep. Because you're dealing with all of yeah. the touristy folk. I know. So, right. And you don't need that. No, why, right. why are you videotaping me? I'm like, we don't need that. You get arrested because I think you're videotaping some old woman putting out foundation. So we can't have that. Yeah. You know the camera would be on me. I know. You know how people are. Like, it's on me, you stupid bitch. <laughs> they're going to just gaslight you the whole time. <laughs> So, okay. All right, down. We're down to clown. Let's see. Well, we're so, we're People just sorry, screaming, but... no babies ever. <laughs> <laughs> no babies. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, my God. It's just so funny. Oh, my God. All right. All right. My little, my little angels. Oh, Neiman Marcus would be pretty fun. I don't even know what you would do. And I don't even know. What would I be looking for? Just very expensive stuff. Very expensive makeup. Yeah. Yeah. They got that there. Yeah, they do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> yeah, they do. I know this won't work, but can you imagine if you can go dumpster diving in a beauty store? <laughs> I mean, that would be pretty fucking funny, but like. <laughs> but that's pretty funny, There's though. People that do that. I know. They dumpster dive because they, they just throw shit out. You know what we should do? We should do this in every show. fucking. Ew, really? Yes. Comes to, and for resale? Yes. Oh, that's they'll, fucking they'll, they'll grimy. Out, uh, like new shit. Oh. But um, bags, they'll mark them. Yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. the marker off. And, right. Yeah, I did a dive when I watched a lot of one resale shit. Oh, fuck me. So okay, that was okay. I'm like, I'm not doing this. Yeah, yeah, no, that's I'm like, sorry, that's so doing? wild. No, I was actually just thinking, like, you know what would be kind of cool if we did this, like, a variation of this? Where it was like Sephora, Ulta, maybe we'll just throw in like a drugstore, like a CVS or something, but then also do like a TJ Maxx. Okay. Yeah. TJ Maxx would be more of a challenge because that's a gamble as is. I know. Find something not finger placed. Mission Impossible. Find things that aren't fingered. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm down for that. That would be pretty funny. Yeah. Because sometimes you do find like um, a hidden treasure, like a Jacqueline Hill. Like a, <laughs> like a Jacqueline Hill or a Pat McGrath. Oh. But sometimes you could find things that are literally just fingered to hell. Like just like Jacqueline. Just like what? <laughs> oh fuck. Okay. Finger blasted Jacqueline Hill. That is disgusting. I'm sorry I even said that. <laughs> <laughs> I love that note. Uh, we are out, bitch. Okay. Um, thank you so much for the just a boy black face if there's no lighter shot. I'm just <laughs> me, Sam. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> Don't worry, that's never gonna happen. I will, if anything, I will turn myself into a probably an orange chemical burn victim. Fun. That's the the darkest I can go, probably. You look like the pumpkin. Bunny. I look like the pumpkin, but <laughs> me, I, that's that's as far as we're gonna go. Um, we're not, yeah, we're not gonna do, we're not doing blackface. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. Anyway, um, oh, fuck me. Okay, so y'all. I love you. And thank you for like all the amazing uh, ideas. But I think I 
I definitely think we're going to be doing that one very fucking soon because that would be pretty fucking funny. Okay. Okay. All right. So I love y'all. Y'all are amazing as always. Uh, come back next week. I think we're, I think I'm going to probably be doing streaming on Tuesdays, Sundays. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be doing it next Sunday, but I'll, I'll be definitely back next Tuesday. And, um, yeah, I just hope everyone has a good rest of the week and no new video tomorrow. So sorry, but you'll get a makeup bingo on Friday. So yay. And then starting in March, videos will be resuming as normal, meaning Monday, Wednesday, Friday with streams on Tuesday. Oh, Mr. Unicorn, you didn't have to. Oh my God. <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> God, oh, <laughs> fucking, I can't. Mr. Unicorn, you're fucking killing me. <laughs> you are fucking killing me. Oh my God. <sighs> no, <laughs> just absolutely. <laughs> fuck, fuck, fuck me. Okay. All right. I love y'all. <laughs> I love y'all. <laughs> I love y'all. And I will, yeah, everybody's just like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh my God. Y'all are too fucking much. I can't. Y'all are killing me. All right. I'll see you Friday. <laughs> I'll see you Friday. Tip your waitress, okay? Have a good rest of the week and uh, just be kind to each other. Be good. Be good humans, all right? Bye, shitheads. I love you. <laughs>